Hi everyone. Today I will say something about contingency leadership theories. The emergence of contingency leadership theories marks a new stage in the development of modern Western leadership, which focuses on the potential impact of situational factors related to leadership behavior on leadership effectiveness. In different situations, leadership behaviors have different effects. The emergence and the development of contingency leadership theory have gone through a long process, which provided theoretical reference for many leaders' practical work. In my opinion, the theory has been applied in many ways in the 21st century for leaders, especially in motivating and communicating. First of all, as a leader. Good communication is one of the important means to achieve the goal of leadership. Contingency leadership theories in communication practice will yield twice result with half the effort. According to the theory of modern management, communication is not only the process of tr information transmission, but also a very effective incentive process. Communication is divided into many different forms. Now I will elaborate on goal-based communication based on personal leadership experience. As a university leader, the leader faces many different teachers. As is known to all, goals are a source of strength to motivate teachers. From the teacher's viewpoint. Only when the in when the individuals have a clear goal can he mobilize his potential and create the best result. At the same time, only after he has achieved the goal can he have a sense of achievement and satisfaction. Goals are often challenging, so the leader should work with teachers to identify ideas and methods to achieve certain goals and build confidence. This kind of leadership model is closely connected to past goal leadership model. The leader has been already familiar with the organizational situation, based on the characteristic of the environment, and the leaders adopt the achievement-oriented leadership. In the actual leadership process, the communication has also corresponding contingency application strategy. Secondly. Contingency leadership theories can be applied to motivate subordinates. According to Maslow's hierarchy theory of demand, he divided people's needs into different levels.、Uh, it can be seen that people's needs are different, and the needs are constantly changing. So, incentives should be diverse. Leaders need to be flexible in their use of. Incentives from different perspectives. In our college, the leader leads different type of teachers, who can be simply divided into academic teachers and administrative teachers. For administrative teachers, the work is relatively cumbersome, as their work sometimes makes them lack of enthusiasm. Therefore, The leader should motivate their innovative potential and enthusiasm, so as to improve the work efficiency and avoid boredom. For academic teachers, their work has high autonomy, high responsibility, and high innovation. Their work directly affects the teaching results. In this case, the leader usually uses the delegating method to carry on the motivation. Academic teachers are more inclined to the sense of responsibility and their academic achievements, which are better than the amount of the money they got or the salary they got. Therefore, they should be integrated with university and society to form a pattern of laws together, glory together. In fact, different employees adopt different leadership styles. And the same as the different incentive styles. In short, the core of the application of contingency leadership theories lies in flexible, and there is no fixed pattern of motivation and communication. Thank you for listening.